Hey, hello everybody. <clears throat> How we doing? Time for some DLC with an episode Gladiolus. <clears throat> I'm I, I'm excited. Who? Oh. Load game. <laughs> This is all brand new for me. After suffering a humbling defeat at the hands of Ravis, Gladiolus embarks on a journey of self-discovery. His destination, the Tempering Grounds, where he seeks to undertake a trial of body and mind that has heretofore afforded but a sole survivor. Ooh. Okay. I'm stuffed. My compliments to the chef. My pleasure. Did you enjoy your time with the marshal? Mm hmm. <clears throat> so, uh,. What's that thing on your face? This? Yeah, X marks the spot. That's nah, just a scratch. The other guy got off a lot worse. <laughs> worse than looking like some kind of thug? Speaking of which, who was this other guy? <sighs> they call him. The Blade Master. They call him the Blade Master. Okay. Striking and blocking. A rage meter. Press X to block incoming attacks. Think it is. <laughs> Catch you in a 
bad time. Are you here yet? Yeah, I'm at the crow's nest. Good. Thanks for agreeing to meet with me. Sure. So, are you ready to move out? Of course. <sighs> what about you? Are you mentally prepared? Of course. I'll be right over. Of course. About time. Will it be? <sighs> Just the water's fine. Thanks. Allow me to ask you once more. Are you sure you're ready to take on the Blade Master? <sighs> I went up against the High Commander and got my ass handed to me. I didn't stand a chance. And I never will unless I get more power. Then answer my question. Are you ready or not? <laughs> you think I would have called you here if I weren't? So you're ready to face death. <gasps> Gilgamesh awaits challengers in the deepest recesses of those ruins. It's been 30 years since we uncovered the caves. We've sent countless expeditions, but all of our efforts have afforded us no rewards. And no survivors. Except for you. You undertook the trial, and you made it back alive. Barely. Let's move. Barely. Did you tell your friends why you were taking off? Just said it was business. Didn't want them getting all worried about me. <laughs> well, knowing your pride took a beating. Of course, Gilgamesh has to show up here, right? All right, I've got this. No turning back now. Oh look, nice bodies decorated everywhere. Lots of bodies decorating everywhere. <sighs> Determined to become the King's shield and prepare them to inherit the power they pursue. The Blade Master's men have sworn their loyalty both before and beyond the grave, scaring off the unworthy. We make them prepare for disappointment. That'll scare easy. <laughs> Tiny snake. It's all yours, Marshal. Well, don't mind if I do. 
Come to prove yourself worthy of my mantle? I do. I am here to undertake the trial of Gilgamesh. And what is it you hope to glean? Power. And you're gonna give it to me. Is that so? Fighting beside the chosen king as his sworn shield. You saying I don't? A great evil threatens the people of your world. It is but the king of kings and his shield who can safeguard their lives. All those unworthy or unwilling to rise to the task meet their end here by my blade. I ain't meeting mine anytime soon. This trial hasn't even begun. If you do not fear death, then go forth with reckless abandon and prove your worth. Prove your worth. You are ready for this. In that case, let the trials begin. So the Blade Master, he's a master of blades. What? Are you expecting <laughs> something profound? <laughs> the Blade Master. You know, the Master of Blades. And all that. I was hoping that there'd be something in any of these boxes that I could break. Nope. Very limited resources, though, which sucks a little bit, but, you know, whatever. We can do this. There are no items or anything. He can equip a variety of items! <clears throat> but, of course you want to be covered in mystical purple smoke. No surprises there. Let's give him his very, very tight-fitting modded armor. Let's go. I am on PC. Oh look, some dead bodies we didn't kill. That means they're gonna come attack us. Oh, free health. Uh, this time to take a load off. This is why I Rest decided you got the chance. not to heal. I was like, there's gotta be a camp or something. Cup noodles. Let's go. Look at them. Two boys just chilling with some cupped noodles. Only level 24? Gladio, you're like 85 in the game. Come the on. The isn't here to train you. He's here to test you. He won't go easy on you just because I don't you know my the GPU. Guard. So... No mercy for newbies like me.
So what, the weak aren't worthy of serving as shield? In his eyes, the weak aren't worthy of living. All of them are fools, punished for aspiring beyond their station. I was a fool back then, too. And I was punished. But you weren't killed. Maybe you weren't worthy of serving a shield. But he must have seen you as worthy of living. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Maybe he did. <sighs> Back maybe to the he trials. Did not. <laughs> okay. Ah, bah, bah, bah. Keep your eyes and ears open. Done and done. I expect a Gladio to be, like, thick and, like, more difficult to control for that specific reason. You know, no dodging quickly and everything, but damn! It's like playing a molasses. Yep, that's the analogy I'm gonna go with. Playing a molasses. Ugh. This man cannot dodge roll to save his life. Which he will 100% not do. Dodge roll to save his life. I can almost 100% guarantee that there's not going to be anything in any of these barrels. Or boxes. And yet I can guarantee you I will still try to break them. To try to find items inside of them. <laughs> oh, jeez. Your skill is impressive. You may have the strength to defeat the darkness, but do you have the spirit to survive these trials? Nope. It's, it's a story. Of course I do. There was one hidden under there, though I didn't have to break it to get it. Nice. The just like heavy rock is just hilarious to me. All right. You just getting that heavy rock, but I don't know. Oh, oh. Oh, Shame that Gladiolus doesn't regen his health when he's by himself, but you know, whatever. Pish posh mish mosh, right? That's how it goes. Trial chamber. The hand holding stops here. Good luck. The hand holding stops. Young warrior. 
for the trials that await. Prove your might. He hit me with triangle blast. Nurgle. Oh, that was easy. Nice. Touch it. Put your hand on it. Steal the flames. Our power goes with you now, young warrior. Our power! Gladiolus has completed the first of the soul's trials. He can now perform blocks capable of sending the mightiest of blows, even those dealt by the Blade Master himself. So, like, this is just us absorbing people's powers? Stand tall, for the shield of the king must kneel in subjugation before no man. Thanks for the advice, and for the pick-me-up. Well... You made it out alive. Your first trial may have ended, but many more await you on your road to an audience with the Blade Master. Prepare yourself. Might as well take a break. Might as well take a break. Uh, time to take a load off. My father never undertook the trial of Gilgamesh, did he? No. You want to know why? Yeah. I do. I mean, it can't be because he was scared, right? Not of the trial. He was scared of failing as leader of the Crown's Guard and as shield of the king. He couldn't leave his majesty alone, weakened by the wall as he was. After all, what good is a shield with no one to protect? What about you? Worried about leaving your majesty alone? Well, a little. But I'm gonna do what's right for me, like my father did what was right for him. <sighs> Whenever you're ready. Whenever you are ready. I... Well, let's grab the free items then. And continue moving. How long has it been since you undertook the trial? 30 years or so? Give or take. I was a lot younger than you are. And far less experienced. It's a wonder I even made it out alive. This place look familiar to you? Vaguely. The younger me had little mind for taking in the sights.
was curious if I could go over there. Can't remember if we've already been there or what, so. Sorry, Cor. Go blimey. Pull crumbling columns to yeet at your foes, eh? Excuse me, ass munch. The fact that that's an option is amazing. I like that they actually show you which enemies uh, are doing attacks that you can or cannot block. Holy fuck holy Glitchy out of the witchy Another trial chamber and another chance for the warriors to impart their wisdom It won't come easy though. You'll have to earn it Stops here again. My guess is some kind of armored brute, armored flame dragon on wings of fire. Enkidu. How many moons has it been? Enkidu used to be a dog. Far more than I can count. Oops. <laughs> Let us see how our latest challenger will fare. Heavy ass metal, y'all.
There we go. Enki do, Enki. Yes, I did. Alright, what power did we get this time? I don't know. Venture forth, young warrior, bearing our hopes and dreams. Venture forth! Gladiolus has completed the second of the soul trials. He can now perform the male storm glaive art when his valor is high. Okay. Look ahead, for the shield of the king must safeguard our future. The skill shared by these souls that pass down for generations. The shield of the king of the world of the darkness. Hard and fast! Just like I taught you. Ready? And rare and no! Not bad. Not bad at all. Set foot on these grounds, all of them fools, unprepared for the dangers lurking within. They all meet with the same fate, as will you. As will you. I don't think so. Think what you may, but I know otherwise. The Lucis you call home is nothing like the Lucis I once served. Your age has forgotten the horrors of war, coddled by the king, and drunk off the complacency of peace. No shield worthy of defending the true king could be born from such depravity. Thanks for the vote of such confidence. Depravity. Look on the bright side. Everyone loves an underdog. Oh boy. Just like I taught you. Ready? Ready? Where are you going? 
defeated the blunder snatch. That's a good name for it. The blunder snatch. Instead of the bander snatch. Because it blundered by attacking me. Daha. Sure. We'll go with that. Will you stand tall? Even when your flesh fails you? Or will you fall to your knees? It's over! It's like we're playing Doom again. <laughs> Rest up while you got the chance. Okay. Nap time. time to take a load off. <laughs> Never thought I'd make my way back to the tempering grounds. You said it's been 30 years. Were you as immortal then as you are now? If you want to know, I'll talk. The Blade Master. What was he like? I don't remember much, except for those eyes. They pierced my heart and peered right into my soul. It was like she knew my every move even before I did. Try as you may, there's no fooling those eyes. <laughs> we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Wow, cocky. That was much more than a soup. I wonder if there's another conversation we can have if we rest twice in a rest row. Rest up while you got the chance. So, uh, let's try it. Nope. Uh, whenever you're ready. Just the one. He who protects the king must boast muscle and metal, both finely tempered. Should he lack either, the shield will shatter. It's all yours, Marshal! Well, don't mind if I do! I feel like what they wanted us to do was um, use the pillars to fight that big guy. But now I just kept hitting my hammer against him until he uh, yielded. Surrender! Demon wall. Pathetic. Sorry, what's your name? Inanana Duru? Damn. 
I mean, it's the closest thing we've got to a demon wall in this game. Penultimate trial. Wait, prove to them you are prepared to serve as the shield of the chosen king. <laughs> Strom ready immediately for the next boss. Be true! Oh no. Mother trucker and fuckers. The shield is full, shrinking. Hambaba! Waste not the arsenal that you'll be having. Oh, motherfucker. I hit it the wrong button. And I lost my only big honker. Yeah. Oh, guess I gotta do this the hard way.
Nice. Um, Bobber is dead, Bobber. Now, not but the final trial awaits you. Not but the final trial. Gladiolus has completed a third of the soul's trials. An aura envelops his blade, allowing him to deal damage to Gilgamesh. To Gilgamesh. Okay. Nice work. Maybe you've got what it takes after all. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. But it ain't for you or me to decide. True. And the Blade Master is a more formidable foe than any you face thus far. <laughs> Might as well take a break. I like that image of just Kor and um, Gladio sitting there with some cupped noodles in their hands. about you? I want to know what was going through your head back then. You that interested in me? Yeah. I think there's a cat at my door. I mean, you were a lot younger than I am. And a lot brasher too, if you can believe it. Wouldn't listen to a single word anyone said. I thought I was invincible. No one could nope. stop me until he cut me down to size. I was cast out in defeat, my hubris laid bare for all to see. You really are immortal, they said, and it stuck. That's rough. Still, you made it back alive, something no one else has ever done. And I respect that. You made it back alive, and that was much more than a soup. I respect that. Okay. It's more than a soup. It was a cup of nude. Come here to die, have you? You looking to die again? You amuse, but do not impress. You lack his conviction. Whose? He who traversed these caves some thirty years ago. Turning a deaf ear to our wails and wishes, he proceeded unfazed, eyes ever forward. Yet he proved powerless before the general, cast out in defeat. If even he could not succeed, I see no hope for you. No hope for you. <laughs> that guy must have left quite an impression. Clarice would have tried to stop you, you know. Just like he tried to stop me. All those years ago. How come? Because one aspiring to the role of King's Shield can stake his life for none but his liege. Not even for himself. Do you dare risk all for naught in return? His words stayed with me. And he was right. I barely made it back with nothing to show for it. So you're gonna stop me? No, I won't. But I will warn you one last time of the danger you're about to face. Just like your father warned me. Once you set foot through that door, there's no turning back. And no one to help you if you fall. One false step and it may prove your last. I'll be fine. Maybe I'll come back with a souvenir. Just come back alive. Be safe, Gladio.
Rancor sitting here wondering what he's gonna tell uh, Noctis when Gladio dies. It's like, damn it, I don't want to tell the king bad news. It's not my job. There's a chill in the air. I can feel his presence. You better be ready for me. Presence? I like presents. It's almost present time of the year. Less than a month. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> You're like, wrong kind of presence, Crow. I'm like, shh. It's okay. Gilgi boy. I'm here. Brandishing your brute force. Yeah. Let's see if you can handle it. I don't know if you can hear it well, but one of my favorite tracks in the game is Battle on the Bridge. And like all of Final Fantasy. And this is a nice version of it. And also, uh, we are battling on a bridge. <laughs> What's funny is if I had actually known that uh, there was this track in the game, it would have spoiled the fact that you fight Gilgamesh. Because Battle on the Bridge is exclusively Gilgamesh's battle theme. Blind reliance on strength alone. Disappointments in their end here. And so shall you. you. No. I didn't come here to die. I came here to prove to you I'm worthy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what's also fun is the fact that. Canonically, this is the exact same Gilgamesh as the Gilgamesh in a 12, in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and 5. Because in 5, Gilgamesh gets banished outside of space and time. So he's essentially a wanderer among universes. You know. What kind of string bullshit is this? I don't know. You are strong, yet so long as fear binds your heart. The power you possess is wasted on you. I've still got some tricks up my sleeve, too. Ain't no way. 
way I'm backing down now. Nothing can stop me. Ah, that last one, I knew it was coming. Oh, there's the mark on the forehead. Try this. Hey, quad nines, let's go. not even bleeding. Not exactly the souvenir I had in mind. It took me a while, but I realized something. You're right. I am afraid. I am afraid of accepting afraid. the fact that maybe I'm not really cut out for the job I'm expected to do. But hey, at least I'm not walking away empty-handed. I'd better get going. It may be all muscle and no metal, but I'm gonna keep protecting Noct the only way I know how. Hmm. Spoken like a true shield of the king. Huh? Fear and doubt beget death alone. He who averts his gaze from his own faults cannot himself a true shield call, but you. Having made peace with your inner self, have proven you are worthy. The Chosen King should be so fortunate as to have a man like yourself serving at his side. You mean... And with this glaive, I entrust my power to you. <clears throat> And with this glaive. Where did you... Taken from the young man who impressed me with his strength of will. It was with this very blade he stole from me my arm. But... I can't accept this. If he still walks among the living, a man of his mettle will have doubtless transcended attachment to mere material possessions. <laughs> You're probably right. In that case, don't mind if I do. Now, hasten forth. With mind unclouded by doubt and will unmoved by fear. The last king of Lucis is ill fit to fight without his shield. Thanks again.
It's fun how they sprinkle in hints about this, like... You made it. The last King of Lucis and everything. Sure did. And so quickly. I'm impressed. Brought this back with me, too. Figured you might get a kick out of it. <laughs> I wondered where I put that thing. Keep it. <laughs> Makes for a better souvenir than that scar. <sighs> you know, he mentioned he lost his arm in battle with a real hot-headed young guy back in the day. That's so. Whoever it was left a lasting impression on him. Talked about how the guy had the strongest will he'd ever seen. It takes more than will to complete the trial. You need to wield your weapon with a primal finesse. If you fail to prove your might, you get cast out empty-handed. I don't know. He didn't seem to think the guy would let it bother him. Said the guy's too old to care about material things anymore. If he's still alive. <laughs> Gladio. Huh? I hope you feel more confident in light of your success today. Few men can lay claim to such an accomplishment. Not even Kor the Immortal. Yeah, but I didn't earn myself a badass nickname like he did. <laughs> Still, I'm glad I went through with it. I can finally say I'm truly ready to fulfill my duty. Good. Well, I guess this shield better mosey on back to his king. Wouldn't want him to get scared without me. <laughs> Wouldn't want him to get scared without me. His name's Gladiolus. Gladio. Big guy. Monster, according to Prompto. <laughs> you know? So, that's how you got it. What do you think? Very perpendicular. Really compliments the one you got when you saved Nock from that bully. Yeah. Only difference is, this time, I ended up taking a pretty bad beating, too. Uh, not unlike the licking the Marshal received back when he was a lad. Must have had a lot of guts to go up against Gilgamesh back then. <laughs> yeah. Dad said he used to be a real firecracker. The more you know. Hmm. If the Blade Master sequestered himself during the Founder King's reign, then he's haunted those halls for some two millennia. That's a long time. All those years waiting for the Chosen King to arise? You sure know how to take your sweet old time. What can I say? I'm worth the wait. <laughs> Give me a break! And I as well. <sighs> Just I'm because you got a shield way. to protect you now doesn't mean you get to slack off. But if you do, I'll be ready. <laughs> Doesn't mean you can slack off, but if you choose to, that's fine. I'm here. Daddy Gladdy is here. <laughs> oh, cool. One hour, one minute, 39 seconds. Yeah! Oh, cool. Uh, unlock score attack. Final trial. Genji Blade. Nice. What is final trial? It's bar against core. Sure. Let's do it. And then we'll go back to the main story. We ain't doing score attack, ain't. I'm trying to do, uh... Any kind of scores. I mean, Core's only like 45, if you think about it. Because according to that, he t joined the Crown's Guard at 13. 15, he was a personal bodyguard. So you would assume he probably entered around there. And that was 30 years ago. So he's 40s to 50s. That's not even that old. I'm in my young 30s. 
Congratulations, Gladio. You accomplished that which I could. Care to show this failure how it's done? First the brain master, and now the immortal. <laughs> I can't catch a break. <laughs> Not on my watch. Ready? <laughs> No, I didn't have the DLCs for him. I said that. This is my first time doing these, too. Man, he dodged all of those? Bullshit. Definitely a final trial. Ha <laughs> ha. 
All right. Well, time for us to go back to the main story. I get to take that weapon over. <sighs> the Genji blade. La dun 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 po po do do. Hey, we do! Though the Garuda's pain is better. So we'll give it to... Gladius! Oh right, we were... It's real pretty here at night, and yet, by all accounts, it pales in comparison to old Tisha. Seriously? Open up shop? Well, I'm an artisan first and foremost, I'm not a salesman. You know the ring of the Lucii, right? I do. That little baby put up a wall strong enough to keep out the demons and the whole mother loving empire. How cool is that? Uh, pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, yeah. See, that's the level I'm aiming for. Not this second, of course. Say, I got my sights set a little lower for now, but it's only a matter of time. Wow. You probably heard on the news how the nights are growing longer and the demon population's getting bigger. People need protection. And if I really give it my all, People I think I can provide protection. that for them. Here, you ain't gonna find anything better in all of Eos, and she's all yours. Well, I guess I got my work cut out for me. I got my work cut out for me. Hey, Highness, what you been hey. up to? 
His creations can fetch a fortune. I'd believe it. Fashionable and functional. And all handmade. The guy's a pro. He's got talent. I'll give him that. the regalia as we go figure out what we want to do now. Let's see. This, I think, is located uh, in another location. We'll go there soon. It's uncharted territories. Or wait, no. No. We can just have that put on our car right now. We're here. It is quite comforting to see other people about. There y'all are. Well, did you find them? Yep, got them right here. You do? Oh, thank the stars. Now, whether you keep using them is up to you. But humor me and give them a test run first, won't you? And what's so special about them anyway? The bulbs pack a punch. The light they shine so bright, it'll have the demons heading for the hills. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Sure is. So Would now nice with the, everybody had them before the headlights happen, was about uh, we can drive at ago. night no matter what car running through these parts one night all of a sudden the demons jumped it saw it with my own eyes can't never forget it and I can't help thinking if they had these lights they'd still be alive you know yeah I get it anywho let me know when you want to give them a try and thanks for all your heart of course you can out. also like uninstall them anytime you want if you want to go back to fighting demons while you're driving at night in my case, uh, fuck that. <laughs> well, ain't you a lucky one? Ain't you a I lucky got one? Just the thing. What are y'all after today? What do you fix in to upgrade? How's this? Enhanced headlights, I'll polish please. Her up nice for you. Fixed her up real nice. Now, I believe all the quests are essentially... Actually, no, this is up there. Sure. Let's head on over there. I thought this was somewhere else. Leave it to a genius like Cindy to find a way to free us from the restrictions of the road. The restrictions How does she do of the road. Uh, by following instructions? Which were drawn up by Sid. I might add. Though I'm curious what she meant by a car like the Regalia. Maybe Dad had a spare? If he drove the car anything like we do, he probably needed one. those things down I'm a... not alone but out in the wild it's kill or be killed and personally I prefer the former is this the place any was talking about most likely 
I imagine there are quite a few Imperial leftovers lying around. Mm -hmm. Thank you, computer. I haven't had the time to actually like, uh, adjust the settings like I was talking about on my monitors. Thankfully it didn't freeze stream avatars, so. But. Because I'm gonna blind myself. Yep. I'm just, I'm gonna not turn back on the uh, warm light filter. Just be blind for a little bit. Why didn't I do it? I just didn't have time. Just don't be too carried away. Sure wanna talk. I was doing a lot of things yesterday and this morning, obviously. I'm probably gonna mess with it tomorrow while I'm at work. Cause I wanna actually look up the settings and do, a, instead of just poking around on the different things, like Google around, see if I can't find something that'll be a good uh, option for all that jazz. Be a bit smarter about my random. Why are they so heavy? Things. And why do we have to carry them? To help you bulk up. <laughs> why do we have to carry Let's them? Move. Okay. Move on to the next set of quests, which is all of these. Thicket. <laughs> okay. Four of those in there. Five of those in there. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. And then, oh, partner, my partner. <laughs> oh, God, I am both excited and not excited for this fucking fight again. Oh. Granted, last time we did this, we were like level 50 and we had shit ass weapons and we didn't know what we were doing. We had to use the in game cheat mode. This time, we're level like 86 with. Probably some of the best weapons I can get my hands on at the moment. Where do we go and from I here? I still might have to use cheat mode. Piece of candy. And don't worry, the in game cheat mode is not something I modded in, it's in the actual base game. We used it on the PS4 version. Bunch of cocks, Patrices. 
That's it. Vesperum. I've come up with a new recipe. I've come up I with a new recipe. I hate fighting these for one reason and one reason only. It's the confusion. Come on. Damn, I was hoping Gladio would do so much more damage than that. Well, good news is, we're about to call hell and high water. So this fight's over. Prompto is a touch confused. The most obnoxious thing about them is dealing with just the fact that they confuse everybody and are also flying and also they're an asshole. <clears throat> Mostly the um, asshole part, but you know, whatever. All right. We call that problem solved. Nighttime, all time. Daytime! Lovable little gluttons. Would you like to a, a pet basilisk if it was a little bird like this? No mercy. Question. Does Basilisk have the two different, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'll give you that. Do they have those two different kinds of interpretations? Because I'm familiar with the snake version of a Basilisk, but Final Fantasy has the Cockatrice Basilisk as a chicken. So is there some other culture definition for a Basilisk that is chicken? <sighs> Man, it's hot. And also, what's the Who's origin the of the snake basilisk? You know, in case you were curious as well. Last thing I need now. I speak. Not another one else. Go just a little left. We should be just outside of its range to pick up this item. Which is located here. Now for the baby cluckatrices. We're in the morning. Regal Trisset. Regal Trice. They're like a cockatrice, but the regal. Don't be late. Let's be 
You said don't be late, but you missed, like, majorly. Sorry! You're up. Three descriptions of a mythical basilisk. A huge lizard, a giant snake, uh, or a composition of a reptile rooster with the head and plumage and front legs of a rooster with a reptilian... Tail and sometimes scaly wings. Ah, I see, I see, I see. One time. Sure thing. Bingo. Thank you. I guess I combined snake and lizard because I am also familiar with the lizard basilisk too, now that I think about it. That's cool. Propped out! Agnes. You know what? Fuck it. Stories of the Basilisk show it's it not completely two. distinguished from the cockatrice. The Basilisk is allegedly to be hatched by a cockerel from the egg of a serpent or toad. Which is the reverse of a cockatrice, which was hatched from a cockerel's egg incubated by a serpent or toad. In medieval Europe, the description of the creature began taking on features of from cockerels. It has a venomous snap strike, and in some versions of the myth, it has the ability to breathe fire. It's so funny how, like... Put it in the books. It's history now. There's so many different, like, games and shit that... Well, games, stories, movies that take just bits and pieces of this so that like no matter how many times you know of a for instance cockatrice or basilisk it could be completely different from what somebody else knows because somebody else chose to uh use a handful of others i believe the basilisk in um Um, what's it called? Octopath Traveler was a dragon, so a scaly reptile with wings. Had the stone gaze, but fire breathing. Which is different from the basilisk in, say, Harry Potter. Which was a snake hatched by a... Ru no, it was a snake egg that was hatched... No, I think it was hatched under an, a chicken. Sound of boogie. Right. Uh, but it was more of a poisonous snake than anything. Where did um, Basilisk and Stone come from? Because that's one thing that a lot of them all have is like a stone gaze or something like that. But then continuing forward, like Final Fantasy takes the uh, cockatrice path. And makes all the basilisks chickens. Which, personally, is a breath of fresh air. We don't need more dragons in these games. <laughs> Cut it out, man! Of course, that's just my take. You know. Let's do this. I hate asking you to do all like this research and stuff, but like also, I feel like I ask some pretty interesting questions. So not all the uh, BS that comes out of my mouth is just like, uh. How many times? Enough talk. Time for scash. Get 
This could be considered nighttime enough for the black flan to show up. Oh, those are those are big boys. Enter the dungeon and fight the two bosses. We're alive. Let's celebrate by eating something dead. <laughs> We're alive. We celebrate by eating the dead. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, nice here. Yeah. And thankfully, this isn't the one that we fell through the ground. Let's head in. Try not to get lost. You get lost. Huh? Lame butts. Not on top of it. You like that? Solid. It's hot. You're on fire today. Uh, well, you know. I guess games didn't want just an enemy that could just insta dunk you, so they chose petrification. Maybe. Interesting. That's my guess. You're on fire today. What can I say? Okay. D and D did it. 
Okay, I understand. I would say Final Fantasy did petrification for basilisks before Harry Potter did. Judging by the fact that Final Fantasies were coming out in the early 90s, late 80s probably, and Harry Potter first came out in the early 90s, I think. But fair. Let's clean them up quick. Right, right, right. I would not have known, uh, it was also from, uh, D&D, &D, but that makes sense. You know. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It makes sense. Let's go, fellas. Oh, yeah. Ready. All right. Stomach's rumbling. Yeah, it's one of those. It's more common in media I consume, as opposed to others. That's done, that's done, that's done. What's a cotton we still need to do? And then this is Basin, that's done. Just the Vesper Pool, Robin Toe. Yes. Hmm. That's a little odd to me that it's not actually talked about in, in any other media. By eating something dead. But then again, I don't know. I guess it feels so relevant to me because of all the games I play. But to the rest of the world, it's not as much. I guess. Huh. It's so funny. Oh, I guess. Well, wouldn't technically just the mythology of it be based upon, you know, what everybody uses it as? Or is it just not a accepted mythology? Or is it a subset? Okay. I see. Put it in the books. It's history now. Okay. No worries. I was really just curious and was voicing my curiosity out loud. No need to dive into it any further. Yeah, yeah. This is another one of the reasons why I would like to one day maybe pick up a podcast again. Just because I have so many of these just shower thoughts. I'd be like, all right, let's uh, dive deeper into some of the thoughts that Crow had this week. <laughs> uh, 
Maybe one day we'll do that. Yep. Really? Again? Can't stop not. What can I say? I mean, it's not a thing I'm planning for right now, so. Don't worry, I'm not adding another stream or anything. No, I know. Like, it was more of a funny idea more than a serious, let's do this. If I decide to do a podcast, I, I've already kind of figured out what I would do in terms of, like, timing and shit, so. It's just I don't have the time to do all the necessary research and shit. And I'd probably try to get a good, like, chunk done ahead of time. What I would do is uh, I would do a late-night podcast once a week and replace, like, DVD or something like that. A Friday night podcast or something like that, you know. Eleven o'clock. Not gonna do the bullshit of the early morning again. <laughs> I can't do early mornings anymore. <laughs> but I don't have, like, anything for it. Like, I keep thinking about it because I want to do it, obviously, but... Other than a base desire, I don't have anything for it. You know? Oh well. Hello, Ahmad.
Hi, Mike. How do you do? We're alive. Howdy, duty boy. Something dead. Better. Uh, all right, it's still nighttime, which is good because this is a nighttime, daytime, all times. Yeah! Eyes forward. Didn't mean to do that. Let's go. Easy as they come. You just get off of work, Ahmad? Alright, we need to avoid... I'll partner my partners. And so is this. Wonderful. Onward. Nice, I have coffee. And caffeinated water! Thanks for the ride. We'll meet again. This will make a fine paint. Just in case we somehow get sucked into her fight. Which we don't want to do right now. Not yet. We want to try it one when it's not dark out. Psst. Not. Do you think that's her? Let's find out. Yes, it is. We're gonna try her without cheating. No. It's not cheating, it's a legitimate strategy in the- hmm. Oh good, she left. We have to close them more cautiously. Stick to the shadows. That wasn't so hard. It takes two. To tango. Mushamahu and Mushusu. Let's 
celebrate by eating something dead. You ever feel like you've got like a dried piece of skin stuck to your eyeball underneath your eye? So like you can't go for it even if you want to because it's like inside your eye socket? Or is that just me and I've just weirded and grossed you out? Last thing I need now. I'm uh, closed. I don't know. That's how my eye feels right now. My eye. <laughs> None the worse for wear. Basically, yeah. All right, that just leaves. Hey, is that all of them? Yeah, that's all of them, except for that one, which we're not doing. Uh. On the next one. Huh. Find out. Do this. Get some regen. Starting to get the hang of it. The hang of what? You know, looking after yourself, <laughs> being one of the common folk. Okay, we got a little closer. Oh god. Well, in a lot of ways, it's easier than being royalty. Then we ought to lie in wait nearby until she arrives. Oh no, not another snake woman. Relax, you'll be fine. As long as you don't let her wrap you up. Where is he? Bring him to me. Where is he? Do you remember this fight now, Cozy? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Melusine, level 99. <laughs> Wait for an opening. Strike. No sweat. Yeah, that 
did, uh, nothing. That did, uh, how you'll say, nothing. Clean your glasses. Not the idea. No. She slapped the shit out of me.
Got it! Ah, it did the freeze again. And this time, it broke stream avatars. I didn't even adjust my thing, and it still broke it. Oh! I mean, we're doing pretty good in terms of uh, getting the uh, stuff taken care of, so. <laughs> like, uh, beating her is a lot better than I expected, so. So mean to me. She slaps me. Looks like he lost his marbles. Must be some kind of toxin. Gladio is looking rather pallid. Again? You know, we've used so many items. I'm just gonna restart it and do the uh, easy mode. Easy mode it. Easy mode it. Kill me, woman! Stop trying to kill me and kill me! <laughs> Yeah! Stop trying to kill me and kill me! All right, time for easy mode. Yeah. Now we're invincible. From statuses, life, everything. Then we ought to lie and wait nearby until she arrives. Oh no, not another snake woman. Relax, you'll be fine. As long as you don't let her wrap you up. Where is he? Bring him to me. Where is he? Okay. Wait. Uncle would be ill advised. Nope. We have 30 minutes of invincibility every 24 hours. As I said. Ready, guys? Ready. And 
now we just repeat until dead. Sorry about that. No statuses, no damage. All damage, all the time. Gonna do some nice damage, probably. Get back.
trying to do an armagerd chain, and it just won't do it. Fuck off. It's so glitchy. The whole game. This means bigness. We got the death penalty. Hell yeah. you. Hey, partner, can we been together for three whole years? Whoever said time flies was right. And I know it hasn't always been sunshines and rainbows, but I want you to know that I care about you more than anything else in this godforsaken world. When we first met, you were like a little sister to me. Someone I had to protect, but now I see you for the thoughtful, courageous woman It appears to be some sort of love letter. Whoever wrote this had some very strong feelings indeed. Too bad whoever he wrote it to probably never read it. But it might help us identify one of the victims. Let's take it back to that hunter. Right. Yeah, take it back to the hunter. Ah, poor miracle! How dare they scare the cat? Unforgivable. I know. I saw the picture. All right. All right, gears locked because we're near a fight. First, everybody. Oh, whatever. The hunt is on. Hey, where'd you learn that it? one, Knox? See ya. Yeah. Oh, here we are. Let's go. That yep. poor fool. So, we only needed 11 minutes. Nice. Ow. 
out of the 30 minutes uh, given to us by the uh, special suit. Better make tracks. Chop, chop. <laughs> now this is a funny place for you and me to meet. What are you after? <laughs> Knew you'd ask. Vespergar. But I'll be damned if the cagey devil ain't biting. Want me to have a go? <laughs> you think you can do better than a man who's been fishing since before you were knee-high to a guppy? Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky. All right, my boy. You're on. But don't wet your pants when he starts fighting you. A Vespergar. Stinker Marlboro. Toward the fish. Is this the fish I needed? Hmm, huh. you did good. Nope, just a golden catfish. Well, it's worth a lot of money, so. Yes! Oh, we got a big one. Or AP. No, EXP. I got one AP for it. 120 EXP. Fish, my dude! Is this thing you just caught one oh, dude it's heavy oh big boy great job knocked so I have a feeling nice work, this is gonna dude. be one of those uh, time of day deals where you need to come here at the right time of day which unfortunately we currently don't know There's a tackle shop out by the lake. Best place in these parts to stock up on gear. Alright, let's see what... Uh... This says about the Vespergar. Everything in order. Yep. We gotta find a camp. You. 
It's a dawn fish. So we need to find a campsite. Problem is, I don't know of a campsite in this area. The closest one's all the way over here. That's pretty far to go, but whatever. That's what the chokey bow is for. I mean, I'd hardly call this Dawn, though. It's the problem. Oh, man! My arms are killing me! Ugh. Do I dare ask you why? Oh, uh, you know, just been pumping some iron, getting them gains. Yeah, I think this group's only got room for one muscle head. Then Gladio better step aside, cause these guns should kill. Last thing I need now. Eyes peeled, mouth closed. These guns shoot to kill. For the ride. Come on. That's a car. That's not a gar. Focus! Huh. Oh god. No! I lost it at the last mind, second! It's always next time. And I lost my lure too. I know, right? Ugh. I had it until the last second. Rick. Fuck you, fish. I don't want you. You're not the fish I'm fishing for.
Oh, now you're upset at it? Oh, that's why. Her favorite genre. Yep. Yes. Oh, we got a big one. Ease off on the reeling. Look at the size of that thing. Big this time. I've come nice. up with a new recipe. <sighs> Fuck fishing. Uh, the line's still okay, you think? Nope. Well, boys, if you didn't go and land yourself a gun, put up a hell of a fight, like you said. I never met anyone that got so good so fast. Color me impressed. Hell, I reckon you could land the biggest prize of all. What's that? The legendary giant they call the Devil of the Sigillin. If a name like that doesn't dodge you, head to Golden Key. I'll be there too, asking around. Oh, and before I forget. If anyone can make good use of this, Yay. I reckon it's you. I need to claim my sticker for today at some point. Okay. I'd heard tall tales of this fear. Does it truly exist? We could find out. Yeah, I guess we could. a few drops. Watch your heads. Yep. I may have spent a couple tens of thousands of Steam points buying complete, like, things just from Steam because what else am I going to use my hundreds of thousands of Steam points for, you know? Like, well, like, yeah, like, the full bundles for, like, I got all the Halloween bundles and stuff. Like, all the profile stuff with the stickers and all that. We need to replenish our supply of curatives. Gotcha. Ooh. 
Let's find somewhere dry. Let's. We got her. Damn, that was quick. I knew I could count on you, brother. Brother. I found this, too. Don't know if it means anything to you. Sadly, it does. How come? Because I'm the one who wrote it. So she was your partner? Ex-partner. We had it out a couple of times, and one night she just up and left. Huh. Now I know why she never wrote back. <sighs> well, what's done is done, and thanks to you, her killer has been brought to justice. So, that demon we fought? You don't think that was actually... His partner? Yeah. That would explain who she was looking for. Sadly, we've no way of knowing now that she's gone. Either way, she thanked us, didn't she? I'd say we probably put her out of her misery. Hey, back for more? Uh, hey, back for more. Well done. <laughs> well done. Well, that was quick. Well done. Well, that was quick. Well done. Quick. Oh yeah, Ahmad, you missed our discussion on the origins of the basilisk, cockatrice, and everything. Well done. It turns out my version of the stuff and what I know is not considered. What do you need today? You know, uh, canon. No better way to make a name. With everything, which is okay. Come back again. But it was still cool learning all of that stuff. Well, like basilisks, comma, cockatrice. Oh, I forgot to do the savior of the species. Don't worry, black chocobos, we will save you. A basilisk, um, well. Gas stations are the same wherever you go. That one looks more like the in gas this game, basilisks, basilisks, and cockatrices kind of are oh, like, um, though, right? yeah, they're mythological creatures. In this game, they're chickens. In other popular media, they are um, serpents or Is reptiles. The yeah, they must be close. But I was just curious about the origin since there's some, like, you know, I know them as snakes primarily thanks to, like, Rush! Harry Potter. Right but in Final Fantasy, up. they're Fuck. chickens. So, you know, I was just curious about, like, the origin of it, you know, where they came from, yada, yada, yada. It was an interesting thing to look into. Done and dusted. The egg is safe, but where's the mom? I don't see her. Oh, it's still warm. We gotta get it back to Wiz before it gets cold. Right, let's move. Right. <laughs>
Easier to sleep with civilization nearby. Nothing wrong with the outdoors, but there's definitely safety in numbers. Definitely. Whoa, what's this? An egg? Yeah, found it just in time. It's still warm. You leave it with me. I'll look after it. We never saw the mother. Oh, that's a shame for sure. But y'all saved the egg at least. I'll take good care of it. Make sure it hatches. Good luck. I'll send out word when it does. Y'all be sure to come and see the chick. We'll look forward to it. Yeah, I'll be yeah, sure. I'm putting these vegetables up for sale. But I want y'all to have them. As a token of my thanks. No better place for that egg than with Wiz. He knows what he's doing. We gotta come back, guys. As soon as the chick hatches. Of course. Of course. Nothing new in Golden King. Alright. Huh? Auto. I say we take a break. It works for me. They not. Well, we brought you the parts. Thanks, y'all. You boys must be beat after lugging those things all the way back here. On the bright side, now y'all can kick back while I fix her up. Just say the word and I'll get to work. You sure you can handle it by yourself? You offering to help? I'll be fine. Besides, Papa gave me some advice. Sort of. Y'all offering to help? give you a piece of advice. Don't mess up. I reckon that was his way of telling me I'm on my own. Well, far be it for me to defy Sid's advice. That's probably for the best. Anywho, y'all just sit tight. Time for me to work my magic. Work her magic. So, do we want a regular regalia, or... Well, here she is. What do you think? Or do we want our monster truck? Nice. This thing's a monster. Only one way to find out. Let's see how far she can go. <laughs> I. <clears throat> it's very heavy on our gas, though. Of course they are. It's a fucking monster truck. Prince, how are y'all liking your new ride? Gotta say, it's pretty cool. Well, ain't that grand. Nothing makes me happier than seeing a satisfied customer. Truth is, though, the old girl's got a lot more power under the hood than she's using right now. With a few adjustments, I could get her real souped up. Sure. What real souped up. Are we talking about? Can't say just yet. Every car's got a different set of needs, so the only way to know for sure is to take them for a test drive or two. Right now, we've got the regalia running at a steady purr. But we're gonna need to push her to the limit if we want to find out how to really make her roar. A little more work and she'll be the cat's meow. Mm-hmm. So, 
What do you say? I can get a test track ready in a jiffy. All you need to do is get behind the wheel and take the old girl for a spin. Leave take it to me. the old girl for a spin. Kings of the off-road, eh? No roads, no rules. <laughs> no one to hold. Back. I'm so pumped for this test drive. Ugh, we're gonna ace it. Well, there's no doubt in my mind the car will pass the test. But I don't know if I can say the same for the driver. If past experiences are any indication, he's failed before he's even begun. Gee, thanks, guys. Really appreciate the vote of confidence. Cindy, you have seriously outdone yourself. Yeah, never thought I'd see the day. And yet, here we are. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's take your first spin. <laughs> Everybody out. <sighs> <laughs> I should not be driving a car like this. Howdy. You boys are here to take that baby for a test drive, ain't you? Miss Cindy's got everything all set up. If you post a good time, I reckon Miss Cindy will be more than happy to give the old girl a tune-up. Well, I'm ready whenever you boys are. Old girl tune-up. Well, best of luck to you. We've never done this one either. I'm sure it was an option. I just didn't like the uh, monster truck vibe. I still don't. Are you ready? Go! Everyone in the back just like, uh, uh, oh god. Uh, uh. I would have whiplash so bad I wouldn't have a head after all this. Lightning. over to Miss Cindy straight away. She'll be over the moon when she sees this. <laughs> nearly headless. How could you be nearly headless? Anyway. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like this. We ought to ask around for information. Good idea. I'll go with.
Howdy, Prince. I heard you posted a pretty good time out there. Guess you've got a good handle on the old girl. With all this data, I can really take the regalia to the next level. Just give me a holler when you're ready to unleash the beast. Unleash the beast. Thank your lucky stars, because I whipped up something real special. What'll it be? What do you fix in to upgrade? How's this? I'll polish her up nice. I wonder you. how many like customizations nice. there are for this car. What can I do you for? I'll get right on it. I'll look into the whole Happy like trails, um, like how many like if I even need to bother doing these test tracks and shit. Because if I do, I'll do them or something like that. I don't know yet. Alright, golden key. Oh, anyway. This car keeps getting better and better. There's no limit to the things it can do. Unfortunately, there is a limit to the things our driver can do. You'll be eating those words and my dust. Whoa there, Speed Demon. I'm glad you posted a good time and all. But don't get too far ahead of yourself. Naveth. It's over here. So, I'm here to talk about this giant fish of yours. Just talk? Or are you planning to do some fishing? I don't know. Maybe a bit of both? <laughs> I knew I could count on you. But you gotta know, this one ain't like them other fish. It's a veritable giant. The folks have seen it, but no one's landed one. Not in living memory. Every angler dreams of reeling them in. But so far, it's proven to be an unrealizable dream. Unrealizable, huh? Wanna back out? Nah, I don't think so. I'm still in. But of course you are. In that case, best of luck to you. In that case, Devil of the Sigillion. So where do we catch this Devil of a Sigillion? Which, uh, huh? one was it? Was... Can we spool the line before it's too late?
I'm looking for a giant of a fish. Apparently it doesn't even have a, uh... It doesn't show up on your radar anyway. So that's cool. I'll grab you just for shits and giggles. I don't want to fish anyway until we find it, so might as well get something in between. Once we find it, we'll need a respool or something. Mm. Hmm. You've improved. A Trevally. You're like, boy, how'd you know that? Uh. Won't get a good cast like that. Put your back into it. I don't know. Magic. Tiny ass little fishy bitch. Let's have some light. All right. Fishies. I wonder if we switch to our favorite little boy. <laughs> They're so glowy! Mm. Uh, not. You can show a bit of emotion, you know? Glowing barrel fish. Could save it for another day. No need to force it. Yeah. Not feeling ambitious.
I was hoping to see something epic. A mortal struggle between man and fish. Let's try. What was it? Big Blaze Bahamut. Or Whiskers Moogle. Can't you hook something like boss level? We're trying, big guy. What? Can't you catch us something bigger? Talk about backseat fishing. Great. More small fry. Yeah, yeah. According to the get, this guy is like, we've only caught it during the daytime. I'm like, oh my god. Fine. We're gonna go to bed. Fuck you. How can I help you today? Please, come again. Well, time to call it a night. <sighs> Another night outdoors. Might as well get used to it. Welcome to Golden Key. Uh, the winner is Ignis. I've seen this for like the last god, what, eight years now? It's like they haven't updated it since like they stopped. The with us? <laughs> All that stuff. Ugh. It's just like, hey, I'm all sticky and gross. Ew, which is all sticky. Do do do. Well taken. Ah, the Moogle! Except for its Tonborough. The gang's all here, see? Us? Uh, you're kind of hiding your, uh, prince there, but... Now that's what I call a good shot. I uh, your weapon's all done. Yeah. Get you ready. Hurry on over. Yes, I am aware it is done. That is why I went to beds. Better make tracks. Chop chop, prompt. Oh no, I ruined your shop by running in front of it. Oh no! Ha <laughs> Anyway. Ah, back for more, are we? See you next time. <sighs> it's showtime. We'll do a couple of casts about, see if we can't catch anything. 
with a couple of each lower line. If nothing, we'll stop and... Well, it is what it is. It's all big in under there, but I don't know if it was the one we want. That right there is a big in. But I don't know if it's the one we want or not. You, I don't want. Regular fishers. Nice. Regular fishies. Oh. Mm. I mean, new record, but like, not what we wanted. Something there. Oh. Not what we want again, but damn, these fish grab so fast. Nice. Big guy go. Where did the big guy go? Man, the water got cloudy. Now it's harder to see the fish. Try the, uh... 
Thorn Bear. Not what we wanted, but... Wow, you did good. Big here. <sighs> Prompto, we are going for the big thing here. Don't give me your sh shitty attitude, boy. It's not that easy. You did good. You think uh, it's not that easy? Well, you can you can show a bitch. I don't need any backseat fishers here. Yeah, that's not what we want. Too small. Man, is it gone already? Teeny tiny fishes. I know, right? We don't like the teeny tiny. Itsy bitsy. Man, another Trevally. Perhaps it's time for a break. <sighs> no. You've seen the asshole, I think. Time to move up from Little League, don't you think? Talk about backseat fishing. Ugh, fine. Going to the campsite here to do the nudes. The best of the noodles that there was ever noodled. We're here. Camping. Again. Again. Well, you got a problem with camping? No, it doesn't. <laughs> it likes its own version of them. Naughty, naughty, closed captioning. <laughs> well, it is. You know something? Going through all that trouble to make our own custom cup it's made me appreciate cup noodles. When you got four Even guys though, camping out on the campsite constantly, it's perfection. what you also get. It's not about finding the single best ingredient. It's about crafting that perfect blend of meat, egg, and shrimp. That harmony of flavors is key. Yeah, you're right. Makes you appreciate how delicious these noodles really are. I know I sure do. The perfect cup. I've come up with a new recipe. All right, um.
Do do do, bo do 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 do. I want to stock up on potions and stuff. No. Nice. You're being helpful for a change. What do you mean for a change? Uh, I've never done the multiplayer for this, so I can't really say anything for that. The game's worth playing, just period, because, I mean, it's Final Fantasy. Oh, yeah. A mod trying to troll people, as usual. <laughs> but, uh... I mean, the series definitely is constantly evolving, so... I mean, there's always a chance that what you, uh, see... You know, is not necessarily gonna be your cup of tea, but... You know what? I think... You know, it's, it's fun. It's fun to try something new. And keep going about, you know, the different styles and everything. So if you don't like one of them, a different one will feel completely different. 10 and 10 2 will feel completely different from, you know, 12, which will feel different from 13, from 15 to 16. <laughs> so. If you like the older strategic method, though, of, like, turn-based or controlling your partners more, you might not necessarily love this as much. Blowing in the breeze will be seaside supermodels. Um, though, 12... Seaside supermodels it is, then. ...comes oh, the yeah. closest Sad to uh, turn-based while being an oh. ARPG at the exact same time. But a lot of people don't like that one. I mean, I like it. It's it's definitely grown, in my opinion, to be Take a really good one. Here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Well, if you don't like turn base, 13's a good one to jump into as well. Though people don't like the Long 13 tri trilogy. Personally, I very much like them. <laughs> Photo bombers. We ought to hold on to this one. <laughs> Elden Ring's fun. Kyam Carrots. Uh, Say, are you the ones working this garden? Yeah. Who are you? Oh, sorry. The name's Tony. I yeah, it's it's hard to say. On the hunt for some high quality I would produce. say don't watch you YouTube for, peop for, for people for sorts people's opinions on the games. I'd say use YouTube to I see the good. way the games are played and make a decision based off of that for yourself. These greens look great. My cooks and this said the thing got Tura needs? I believe so. Yeah. Let's hurry back with it. <sighs> I personally prefer the older styles, but I can still appreciate the newer games as there well. 
Get ready to be blown away. I mean, if you want to have, quote, the best experience, go for 16. Because 16, in my opinion, really nails down a good ARPG uh, style. Whereas 15, which is obviously 15, uh, it's got a lot of bumps and bruises along the way. But it's still much better than 13, 1 through 3. Uh, 12 has one of the best mixture between uh, RPG turn-based and uh, action RPG. In that you can actually set up uh, situations for when um, your partners will use their moves. Uh, I believe 16 is coming soon to PC. Uh, even though they said we're not gonna do it flat out, they changed their mind. And it's getting DLC as well. Um, blah, 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 blah. I think it's sometime next year. All right. I'll give you a call when it's ready. If y'all are having car trouble, Cindy's your girl. But, uh, yeah. Uh, we have a Magnetron, so we'll have to wait to turn that one in. Uh, Too far away. Just go to the car. Huh. But yeah, 15 has wide open world with the occasional constraint. Um, still considered very good. Uh, 13, you're incredibly constrained in 13.1 until about three quarters of the way through. Then it becomes a semi open world and constrained again. 13.2, uh, not an open are. world. <sighs> But we you have it. a lot of decisions you can make for proceeding about 13-3, very open world. Do whatever you want. Uh, 12, open world. Still pretty fun. Of course, if you like uh, MMORPGs, 11 and 14 are available. You can do 14 for free up until a certain level. I've never played 14 or th uh, 11 specifically because I don't do MMOs. But they're all on PC, on Steam. To Golden Key. So. Of course, as with everything, I would say, uh, wait until there's Thank a sale. You. With this, I can finally make the suite. So when can we try it? Right now. The prep is done. All that's left is the berry on the cake. You'll find the fragrance quite sublime. Why, I still remember the first time I smelled it. Let me know when you're ready to dine. And here, take this as a small token of my gratitude. Thanks, lady. Now that you mention it, it did give off a pretty unique smell. And familiar. I'm sure I've had it before. Could it be the confection you received from Lady Luna Freya? <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. So it comes full circle. The perfect sweet. Welcome back. We use the freshest fish in every dish. Yeah, yeah. We have a sumptuous selection. Thank you for your patronage. Of course, always happy to help people uh, figure out what they want to do for games. Especially games I'm passionate about, like Final Fantasy. Thank you. You have a good day slash evening as well. Thank you for the follow. Hey, we actually hit our goal. That's been in place for an incredibly long time. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh. 
Fuck right. off. I did not mean to do manual. Get the fuck out of the car, Noctis. <laughs> oh, this one. Hey, hey, I remember that one. We can do that. No. Right, auto. Map point. That one is located here, so. Now we'll need a new follower goal to hit. Woo. Man, I don't even remember when I set the follower goal. I feel like it was like a year ago. This should be a nice change of pace. We've been hovering around the 345 for about a year. We've been hovering around 345 for literally ever. Not that I expect to hit this in any time in a very long time, but if we can ever get above, what is it, 25 uh, sub points, we can unlock new emote slots. Gladiolus, it's time for you to wreck shop. Any last words? Noah Mod, do not gift that many subs. I wasn't saying it, so you do it. I'm not answering your question. Yeah. Appreciate it. Anytime. Gladio. Any last words? Say your prayers. Let it be done. Who side is it? Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. All in together now. How about this? That was so hard. The channel artist just needs a bit of encouragement. The Prince of Pain. Yeah. Don't miss. That's what I call teamwork. Hey, where'd you learn that one, Knox? Feisty little devils. We're in the home stretch. I mean, we could also not do birds for all of them, too. The channel artist is awesome. Agreed, Ahmad. That is just a fact. That was a close one. Too close for comfort. Uncomfortable. Just alive. Was it super effective? Krovis, what are you staring at? Krobus fucking woke up and he's just staring at the ground like. Birds <sighs> would be ideal. <laughs> I was just saying like, not all of them have to be 
birds, for instance, we could have like one or two that are uh, like related to the stream in some way. It doesn't have to all be birds. <laughs> Mugs. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Amaj just likes to poke the hornet's nest today. It's We're just here. like it is quite comforting to see other people about. What kind of bees can I get today? You have come a long way. Your art has definitely grown. And it's been fun watching it grow because I've, well, it's been benefiting me as well. So. Can't wait to see what comes up next, too. Crow in a little like uh, nightcap right here with some uh, covers. <laughs> write it down, write it down. <laughs> Dark fog became a thing because you love that phrasing so much from Borderlands. <laughs> Not because you're sleepy, but because you loved it so much. You then adapted it to be dark fog equals sleep. Uh, you were there once or twice for the dark fog, which is why it's stuck. Hey there. There's something about savoring the veg. <laughs> of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Sadly, there are no more hunts or anything for us to do. Which means when we come back, <gasps> dun dun dun, we it's kind of early, isn't it? Might end up having to do cool. some uh, story next week. Tell God. Understandable. Story. Wow! I know, right? Mm -hmm. 
And you know what they say, with great story comes... Well... Restricted movement! We're gonna be, uh, we'll finally be able to fight little stabbies! <gasps> Yay! Your veggies, they're the talk. Your veggies are the talk of the town. These greens look great. My cooks and customers, I'll be back to buy whatever you're willing to sell. So let me know if you got any leftovers. Exactly. Not as shocking as that, but nice little stab is in this puppy. Well, yo. Spiked armor. Ah, yo, yo brace, brace yourselves for power. power. <laughs> so yeah, when we come back, it'll be um a brave new world. But, alrighty then, this is where we're going to leave it off for today. So, anyway, a thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and until the next time, everybody, stay funky, people.